So it looks like Microsoft is making a lot of moves behind closed doors. They're getting a lot of games that's not necessarily in their first party lineup. And I want to talk about it. But before we get on the video, definitely hit that like button if you guys enjoy the video. You can always subscribe to the channel for weekly content. Don't forget to go over there and follow me at Twitter at Lord Attic ILP. Without any further ado, let's talk about games that's coming to the Xbox platform hopefully in the future. What's going on you guys gaming out here coming at you for another video today We're going to be talking about studios and games that Microsoft right now is in talks with it looks like looks like they're trying to make a timed exclusive Maybe a full-blown exclusive. I don't know exactly the terms behind what's going to happen with the game once it's done But it looks like Microsoft's using their global branding in terms of publishing it under the Xbox brand And I want to talk about that. I want to really break down the rumors that are going around clearly like I said with past rumor videos none None of this is confirmed and until Microsoft comes out and formally announces it you always have to take it with a grain of salt but usually when I see certain signs going on with certain people that I trust their word on I usually take it with good face value and there's a really good chance that those rumors are true so let's go over a tweet that our friends over there at Windows Central and particularly Jess Corden has posted on Twitter let's break this tweet down a little bit I'm gonna put it up on the screen so you can follow along as you can see there's a Mexican flag and a car normally we're going to assume that this is forza i think it's pretty common knowledge this is forza and it's looking like the next region that forza will be played in is in mexico and for the most part i think people are going to enjoy forza horizon being in mexico they have a lot of beautiful landscape and i feel like the kind of game that forza horizon is to me it was a no-brainer sooner or later we was going to see forza horizon in the mexico region it is a very gorgeous place with very gorgeous landscape and the type of game that forza horizon is i think it would fit very well in that area so let's talk about the next set of emotes that jazz corn has used we got a star and some kind of tractor obviously this is starfield and i'm still hoping for a 2021 release date i think microsoft would benefit greatly if this game could come out this year alongside halo and forza horizon 5 and i think this is something that really is going to captivate people this year if it's able to come out this year if it is pushed back to 2022 around the middle to the beginning of the year it's not the end of the world but i think it's better if it comes out in 2021 and i've kind of mentioned this multiple times so i'm not going to go too much into star and then obviously the next one is an emote with a halo and an infinite science halo infinite we don't really have to go too much into that we're probably most likely going to see some type of gameplay at e3 this year it's going to come out later on in the fall now this is where stuff gets interesting it is a cyclone and a plus sign i don't necessarily know what the plus sign means the cyclone now people have come out openly with this and said it's kind of like a, mu a massive multiplayer game now i have no clue exactly what any of this means with the cyclone now it has came out openly we're going to talk about the dragon here in a couple seconds but the cyclone i'm completely stuck on for those of you that follow me you know i'm on the iron lords podcast we asked jeff grub about this yesterday and this is the only real question when we asked him that he kind of tried to win around he didn't try to answer that directly so it's going to be interesting to see what is exactly this cyclone emote that people want to be going around teasing no one wants to say anything but people want to tease the game over and over again you know i would say we will find something out about this game in the next year hopefully it's something solid maybe a timed exclusive i really have no idea whatsoever when it comes to this game and i'm excited to see exactly what microsoft has been working on in the background to bring to their consumers on the xbox brand and pc now the next one is a dragon emo for a couple weeks no one knew exactly what this was about people were teasing it but no one really came out openly and said it but all good rumors and all good teasing in terms of content eventually comes to an end and it looks like jazz Corden himself wrote about it so let's go over a little bit on the article that he wrote what you need to know is io interactive recently started building a new team for a new ip we've received evidence that this game could be in partnership with xbox the code name right now is project dragon and is in the early stages of development now there is more to this article i will put it in the description below so you can go down there and read it yourself now first thing i want to bring up is the fact that we received evidence that this game could be in partnership with xbox i do want to point out this is usually pretty good when they come out openly especially jess Corden himself like i've said in previous videos he's for the most part 
has a very good track record and he doesn't really comment on stuff that he knows is false so there's a good chance that this is true but like i said earlier in the video this has not been confirmed do not go out there and assume this is 100 facts in the gaming industry things can always change on the blink of an eye for all we know in a year or two this game just gets canceled now that doesn't mean it's going to get canceled but i want to set expectations that this is an early development so even if this does come out and it's a timed exclusive or full-blown exclusive it's going to be a few years before we see actual gameplay of this game i'm kind of curious i think out of all the stuff that's being discussed on twitter right now this is one of the few that i'm just like io interactive making something related to dragons that feels a little bit like you know action rpg rpg in general stuff like skyrim dragon age because at the end of the day to me i've always seen io interactive is the creators of hitman the people who make fantastic stealth like games this is nothing against them i do know that there are a lot of times most of these developers they have made multiple type of games they're just in that type of genre at that moment so if you were to look at any type of developing studio at any time you'll see a variety of different talent that worked on a variety of different genres so it's very possible considering they made a new team for this game that they hire some new development teams that's worked on the core of the game that they want to make a good example of this being done is what sony's been doing here recently and what i'm talking about is what they've done with horizon zero dawn what they've done with ghost of tsushima let's take horizon zero dawn and what guerrilla games they used to do they used to work on kill zone a first person shooter but sony let them go out of that and they made a third person action adventure game called horizon zero dawn and it was extremely successful we can look at sucker punch with ghost of tsushima the talented studio used to work on infamous i enjoyed the infamous games i thought they were great games but they let them work out of their comfort zone and make a new type of genre and they ended up making ghost of tsushima which i consider one of sony's best games they made in the ps4 generation so i cannot be on that stand where just because io interactive has made hitmans that i don't think they can make a new type of genre game because i know that's entirely possible i just want to see more information on the game and exactly what type of gameplay it's going to be but that's just me but anyway that's the video microsoft has a lot of things in store for its fans and its consumers and that's not even including stuff like halo infinite that they're going to show us a little bit more on this e3 that kojima thing that's been going around i've made videos about that i'm kind of curious and i'm very excited to be an xbox gamer and an xbox fan in general we have a lot of unknown factors and i think that's one of the best things about the industry is when you don't know something and it finally is revealed to you but put in the comment section below does any of these announcements entertain you guys or are you one of those people like myself that you kind of want to see more gameplay not necessarily more rumors and i completely agree on that i think we need to see more gameplay on the games that they've announced i hope they don't really show too much of these newer type of games that is rumored until they show more gameplay of the games that they already announced like hellblade avowed fable etc etc but it's like i said put that in the comment section below you guys this is gaming addict i'm out peace